Hi, this is Roger Eastlick, and in this video, we're going to talk about uh, sequential upgrades for Wishlist Member. Wishlist Member, of course, is a membership plugin that goes plugs into WordPress. It allows you to restrict restrict access to uh, certain areas of your your blog. So, um, here we are in the dashboard of Wishlist Member, and what you'd want to do, of course, first would be to uh, make sure you create some posts and um, have some categories to them. So I've created, for example, uh, test level post 1, 2, and 3, um, and also test and categories, uh, TL1, TL2, TL3. And then, of course, then what we're going to do is we are going to go over here to the wishlist member tab. And we're going to look at the membership levels click on membership levels. Now I've already created test level 1, test level 2 and just for the heck of it just to go through this we're going to go through and uh, create test level 3. So you just fill this in. Um, right now we're going to leave everything the same except we're going to put 30 days in here. Actually for level 3 we're going to make it no expiration date. Um, and save the settings. So there we go. Now for let's go to test level one for a second. And let's go over here and when we click on detailed access, we can assign then um, a specific category or post that, that that's going to be a member of. So we can click this down arrow box right here and we're going to say test level 1 and the access that we're going to give test level 1 is the test level po one, uh, test level 1 post and we're going to grant access okay and then we would do that for the rest and we say test level 2 we grant access to the second post for example we could also do that by granting it to the category, right? Um, and now we're going to go to test level 3 and select test level 3. We're going to grant access. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to um, sequential upgrade tab right here click on that and we're going to say um, we're going to change this to uh, upgrade to level 2 and it's going to be add And that's going to happen after 30 days. All right. And now we're going to test. We're going to on test level two. We're going to upgrade them to test level three. And we're going to add them after 30 days. So this is the way. If you've got, for example, a modular course, and um, you've got several modules, you want to automatically upgrade somebody to a module after a certain period of time, then this is the way you would do it right there. Um, test level three, we're not gonna we're not, not gonna move, we're not, we're not gonna do anything there. So we're gonna go ahead and click on update sequential delivery configuration. And now we've got it saved. Okay. So now when somebody comes in and they join level one when they come in, actually, they're going to join at level one. They're going to be automatically upgraded to level two or added to level two, actually, uh, after 30 days. And then after 30 days after that, they're going to be automatically added to level three. So at that point, uh, after 60 days, for example, they would have access to uh, level one, uh, level two. And at, at the end of 60 days, they would be... Um, they would also have access to level th three, one, two, and three. 
keep in mind that uh, a member will only be upgraded to the next level when they log in so the upgrade sequential upgrade is triggered only when a person logs in so if you're looking at uh, the members and seeing what levels they have access to if they haven't logged in in 33 days or over you know 34 days or whatever then they're still going to show as being on the previous level um, just keep that in mind when, when you're looking at it so that's an overview of the sequential upgrade function or feature of wishlist member i hope this video has been uh, helpful this is roger eastlick thanks for watching